Hello and welcome to the ninth lesson in English for grade 8. So during the last few lessons we have been doing several activities related to the unit 2 winged friends. So today also we will continue couple of activities related to unit 2. So today we will be doing two activities using the English workbook. So be ready with your English workbook and your writing book for this lesson. So let's see the first activity for today. So it is the activity 3 which you will be find, finding in page 10 in your English workbook. So turn to page 10 in your English workbook and let's see what you are going to learn in this activity. So the learning outcome is you, the students, will be able to listen to and find specific information. So we are going to do a listening activity where I will be reading something which you need to listen carefully and to find specific information from what I read. So let's see what we can see in page 10 of English workbook. So this is the activity which you will see in your workbook. Jeevaka and Suresh were talking about the scrapbook. Listen to the dialogue and complete the information sheet given. So this is the information sheet which you need to fill. So you need to fill regarding the name of the bird they are talking, the speciality of the bird, the appearance in terms of feathers, tail, head and their habitat and food. So now you know what are the different information we can find related to a bird. So if somebody asks you to write something or write an essay on a bird, now you should know these are the common things which you need to include in such an essay. Okay, so just get familiarized with this table. I'm going to read the dialogue between Jeevaka and Suresh three times. So while I'm reading, listen to me carefully and try to find the specific information in the dialogue. Okay, so this is Jeevaka and Suresh. So when I'm reading, this dialogue if I'm reading something which is said by Jeevaka you will see something like this right so if it is Jeevaka who is talking you will see uh, that uh, this bubble is uh, showing this kind of uh, animation here but if it is Suresh talking let's see what you will see so it is going to be the Suresh bubble which you will see with this animation. Okay, so shall we start with the reading? So be ready because this dialogue which I am going to read you will not get it in your book. I will read it three times. So this is going to be the first reading. So listen carefully and try to find the information which you need to fill in the uh, sheet which we saw earlier right so I will start reading Suresh this is my scrapbook hope you will like it wow it looks nice You've done a great job. Thanks, Suresh. Let me show you through. Do you know anything about this bird? You mean this red, red one? 
that's right it's the jungle fowl actually it's the Ceylon jungle fowl yes you got it do you know anything special about it anything special you mean yes this bird is a very special bird to our country oh yes it's the national bird of Sri Lanka aha you are very clever did you notice anything about its feathers of course they are of two colors bronze and gold what a nice color combination yes the nature is wonderful look its tail is different yes Suresh it's got long arcing black feathers on its tail what a wonderful bird nature has brought all the colors together you are right Suresh they shimmer with blue purple and green in good light Yes, Jeevaka, its head adds a majestic look with large fleshy rattles and the comb on top. Yeah, they make it more attractive. Unfortunately, we don't find them here. No, they are common in dry zone, jungles or dense scrub. They can find food there. Weed seeds, berries, various fleshy leaves, buds, small animals, crickets, centipedes and termites are some of their favorite food. Great! You know a lot about this bird. Thank you, Suresh. Jeevaka, will you lend me this book for a couple of days? Of course, here you are. Thank you very much. I'll protect it. You are welcome. Yes, please do protect it. Okay, so I hope you might have listened to it very carefully. So there are a lot of information related to the bird. So shall we move on to the second reading? Okay, so now I am going to read for the second time since you are familiar with the text uh, the dialogue which they are having so you can listen carefully further and meantime try to fill the information sheet try to fill whatever the information we need to fill that sheet so write them down while you are listening to what I read okay so I will start the second reading. Suresh, this is my scrapbook. Hope you like it. Wow, it looks nice. You've done a great job. Thanks Suresh. Let me show you through. Do you know anything about this bird? 
you mean this red one that's right it's the jungle fowl actually it's the Ceylon jungle fowl yes you got it do you know anything special about it anything special you mean yes this bird is a very special bird to our country oh yes it's the national bird of Sri Lanka aha you are very clever did you notice anything about its feathers of course they are of two colors bronze and gold what a nice color combination yes the nature is wonderful look its tail is different yes Suresh it's got long arcing black feathers on its tail what a wonderful bird nature has brought all the colors together you are right Suresh they shimmer with blue purple and green in good light yes Jeevaka its head adds a majestic look with large fleshy battles and the comb on top yeah they make it more attractive unfortunately we don't find them here no they are common in dry zone jungles or dense scrub they can find food there weed seeds berries various fleshy leaves buds small animals crickets centipedes and termites are some of their favorite food great you know a lot about this bird thank you Suresh Jeevaka will you lend me this book for a couple of days of course here you are thank you very much I'll protect it you are welcome yes please do protect it okay so that was the second reading let's move on to the third reading okay so let me continue with the third reading I think by now you might have already completed finishing almost all the details so let's listen once again and check whether the information you have filled are correct or whether anything else need to be added listen carefully and do the necessary modifications Suresh this is my scrapbook hope you like it Wow it looks nice you've done a great job thanks Suresh let me show you through do you know anything about this bird you mean this red one that's right it's the jungle fowl actually it's the Ceylon jungle fowl yes you got it do you know anything special about it anything special you mean yes this bird is a very special bird to our country oh yes it's the national bird of Sri Lanka aha 
You are very clever. Did you notice anything about its feathers? Of course, they are of two colors, bronze and gold. What a nice color combination. Yes, the nature is so wonderful. Look, its tail is different. Yes, Suresh, it's got long arcing black feathers on its tail. What a wonderful bird. Nature has brought all the colors together. You are right, Suresh. They shimmer with blue, purple and green in good light. Yes, Jeevaka. Its head adds a majestic look with large fleshy wattles and the comb on top. Yeah, they make it more attractive. Unfortunately, we don't find them here. No, they are common in dry zone, jungles or dense scrub. They can find food there. Weed seeds, berries, various fleshy leaves, buds, small animals, crickets, centipedes, and termites are some of their favorite food. Great! You know a lot about this bird. Thank you, Suresh. Jeevaka, will you lend me this book for a couple of days? Of course, here you are. Thank you very much. I'll protect it. You are welcome. Yes, please do protect it. Okay, so now we have listened to the dialogue for three times and I think by now you might have completed all the information. So let's move on to see the answers. Okay, so this is the sheet which you needed to complete. So I hope by now you might have found the answer. So let's discuss. First, we need to find the name of the bird. So what is the name of the bird? Yes, Ceylon Jungle Fowl. So the name of the bird is Ceylon Jungle Fowl. The second one, the speciality. So there was something these two kids discussed why this particular bird is special to Sri Lanka. Why? Because it is the national bird of Sri Lanka. So you need to write national bird of Sri Lanka. Then we need to find the appearance of the male of this type of bird. First, we need to find the information related to feathers. So what did you find related to their feathers? Yes, they are of two colors, bronze and gold. What about their tails. Can you remember? Yes, it says they have long arcing black feathers. Okay, so what does this arcing means? Arcing means in the shape of an arc. What is an arc? It is a curved shape. So this bird has a tail which is of black feathers which are having a curved shape. Okay, so next let's move on to the head. So what do they have on their head? 
so if you listen carefully you would have noticed that they discussed they had large fleshy vessels and the comb on top of their head so what do we mean by this vatel it is something fleshy which hangs maybe in their neck so you might have seen that in some birds there is some fleshy part which is hanging from their uh, maybe side of their uh, head or maybe at the neck so there is something which is flesh made of flesh which is hanging especially when we talk about birds we see even uh, the hens even the uh, chicken we have seen right so likewise here also they have large fleshy vessel which means they have large fleshy hanging parts and also these uh, hanging parts actually at the at their neck mostly and also on top of their head they have a comb that means they have some feathers on top of their head so next what do we need to find their habitat so they discuss that they these species can be found in dry zone jungles or dense scrub okay and finally we need to find what do they eat so there was a list of things which they eat like weed seeds berries various fleshy leaves buds so those are like uh, parts of different plants so they eat uh, different parts related to plants or trees same time they eat small animals also crickets centipedes and termites so all these uh, crickets centipedes and termites are small animals in the sense they are small insects different types of insects so centipedes means they have 100 feet and crickets and termites are small insects so these are the information which you should have found from the dialogue between jeevaka and suresh right so now you know when you are listening how much you should be focused to identify this information right we need to get used to listen to someone and write down important things just like we did here okay so with that we end this particular activity and let's move on to the second activity which is also another interesting activity okay so what is the next activity it is again in your english workbook the fourth activity in unit 2 in page 10 so you may turn to your page 10 in workbook and let's see what you are going to learn here so the learning outcome you the students will be able to write simple stories so you are going to write a simple story today under this activity so let's see what sort of a story you need to write so if you have turned to page 10 you will see complete the following story so they have given you the first sentence to start the story and you need to continue or you need to write the story building based on the first sentence So what is the first sentence? Once there was a wedding in the jungle. So you need to write about a wedding which has been held in the jungle. So you need to imagine because this is not something which will happen in reality. There are no weddings in the jungle among animals. But in this story it is something which you need to imagine. So imagine what will happen if there is 
a wedding in, a, in the jungle between animals. So who will come into the wedding? Where can be this wedding happen? What may they do? So likewise think of some more sentences and try to complete this story. So since we have one sentence here, I would suggest you to write nine more sentences. Okay, so try to imagine this situation and write nine sentences. Okay, so I will give you five minutes. Try to write it by yourself and after the five minutes, I will give you what I have written in this story. So take five minutes and write nine more sentences.
all right okay so i hope uh, now you have written nine more sentences to complete this story so i have tried to write one by myself which i will read out to you okay so these are the 10 sen 10 sentences which i uh, wrote by myself so the first sentence it is already given right so let me read so you will understand then what sort of way you need to write this kind of an essay the way you need to have the flow so let's listen first once there was a wedding in the jungle it was the wedding of the king of the jungle lion with a beautiful lioness it was held by the river which is flowing through the jungle all the animals in the jungle were invited by the evening of the wedding day all invitees participated happily they brought different types of gifts to the newly married couple a variety of food was available along with music and dancing everyone enjoyed a lot by singing and dancing party went till late night and the moon shined brightly everyone wished the new couple good luck and went back happily okay so these were the ninth sen nine sentences which i added to build up the story so i will just read it once again so that you will get how you should incorporate different information to have a nice flow into the story right so i will read it once again for you once there was a wedding in the jungle it was the wedding of the king of the jungle lion with a beautiful lioness it was held by the river which is flowing through the jungle all the animals in the jungle were invited by the evening of the wedding day all invitees participated happily they brought different types of gifts to the newly married couple a variety of food was available along with music and dancing everyone enjoyed a lot by singing and dancing party went till late night and the moon shined brightly everyone wished the new couple good luck and went back happily okay so when you read this you would have realized that we need to have an entrance to a story so here the entrance is there was a wedding in the jungle and i had to introduce who were the married couple so here i introduced that this wedding was of the king of the jungle lion with the lion so we have to say if it is a wedding when we start the essay we have to say whether it is a wedding or whether it is what the function it depends on uh, the topic you get so here in the wedding who who are the main parties in the wedding right so in this case it were the married couple so that was a lion with a lioness i imagined it in that way maybe you might have thought some other animals it can be it can be two giraffes it can be elephants anyone so i have selected the lions right and i said i have given an introduction where this wedding is going to be held right so it is planned to be held by the river so you need to give an explanation give the description of uh, whose wedding is this where they are going to happen and who are the invitees so i have said all the animals in the jungle were invited so who are the invitees and whether all these invitees came to the wedding and then what sort of gifts they brought 
right so whenever if it is a wedding you need to imagine what are the things which can happen so i have uh, imagine that all the invitees are going to bring some gifts and also they are going to have a variety of food with music and dancing so you can see in reality the animals will not have this music and dancing but since we are building up a story we should be able to imagine those things right and also i mentioned that all of them enjoyed and the party was held till very late and by that time the moon was shining also so we need to add some uh, nice phrases to make our story more beautiful so that is why actually i added that they enjoyed by singing and dancing and also the moon shined brightly so you need to add some uh, those kind of nice things into the story to make it more attractive and then you have to have a nice ending so i ended by telling that everyone wish the new couple good luck and then they back went back happily right so from this story you can see you need to have a proper or a nice flow in your story you need to have a good start and then you need to give all the information related to the story which you are building up and then you need to add some uh, phrases or things to make it more attractive and you need to give a good ending right so this is how you need to build up a story okay so i hope you also might have come up with this kind of ideas maybe some ideas which are great than what i have given here uh, so since it is an imaginary story you can uh, think with some things which are not really happening and you can add some nice things to the story right so from this activity i think you now understand how you need to Uh, build up a good story by yourself with that we conclude uh, this lesson 9 uh, so during this lesson what we learned right so we first learn to listen to a dialogue and then to find specific information we found different information related to a bird from a dialogue and then we learned how to write simple stories by making it more attractive by adding some imaginary things right so with that we conclude uh, the lesson today the ninth lesson in english so let's meet in the lesson 10 thank you